My name is Shani and um, I'm 25 years old. I go to Kingston University and study aerospace engineering and I've been diagnosed with pulmonary hypertension and Isomanga syndrome since I was nine months old. I didn't really notice it when I was younger because I didn't really understand what was going on. I just knew that I was ill all the time and I wasn't like other kids and I couldn't do most activities that other kids could. Till I was about nine and I came out with new treatment and it improved my quality of life. Everyone is different, you can't compare yourself to another person with pulmonary hypertension because everyone reacts differently to all these medication. But at the end of the day, it's the positive mind. The positive mentality is what really brings the willpower. Um, so you just have to trust the doctors, they know what they're doing. <laughs> they really know what they're doing and they give you the best treatment that is tailored just for you. Going into hospital is scary, but you're in good hands, you know, and you just, and pulmonary hypertension is getting well known now. It's, most doctors know about it, most hospitals are aware of it, and they're aware of the diagnosis and what they need to do. You just have to not worry too much, because if you get yourself worried, worked up too much, then you will fall ill, because even stress adds to getting worse. For someone who's been recently diagnosed, stay positive because a healthy mentality is very, very vital for your physical health. Don't worry about the things that you can used to do, like, you know, if you used to do swimming or rugby or football, and just think, oh, what can I replace that with? That is not going to be so tiring. Think, oh, I could learn something new learn to play the piano, learn to play the violin, you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. And always, always replace the negative with the positive. Just have the willpower and don't give up on yourself. So don't think, oh, you know, today's a loss because I'm ill. Just think, oh, you know, my body has to recuperate for tomorrow and I'll be fine tomorrow or next week. Even if it's a week or a month, just don't see it as a loss, see it as a gain.